So what happened was the Portuguese king, I forget his name, I think it was King Philip. I could be mistaken. I'm sure, you, I'm sure your listeners are, are, are astute enough to look it up themselves. But there was a king, uh, 1450 to around 1500, who was, a, who was an avid slave trader. And he wanted his reputation repaired before he died. So he got his scribes to write these awful things, these awful myths about racial divisions. Right. Even though no one had ever seen... And no one had ever seen human beings as, as being racially divided. It was all ethnicity back then. My ancestors were not black. They were from Oyo. They were from Yoruba. They, they were from present-day Ghana and Nigeria. Right. So they, they didn't see themselves as black people. They saw themselves as Yoruba. Um, Portuguese saw themselves as Portuguese. They didn't see themselves as white. In fact, the name Africa comes from the Roman Latin word, Afrique, which means the land that is free of cold and horror. Wow. For thousands of years, we've interacted with each other of all different races. Africa had the, the, the largest system of, of higher education in the world. Most of the European kings were <laughs> in the Middle Ages studied in Timbuktu. So it wasn't like there were these two worlds that all of a sudden collided 500 years ago and couldn't get along. They saw an opportunity. They saw an opportunity to make money in a slave trade. And they felt horrible about what they were doing, so they cleaned it up. So fast forward 50 years, and um, slave trade is, is, is increasing. People feel a certain way about it. Some people are okay with it. Some, many people are not. And they're trying to stop it from happening. Yeah, so the Dutch East Indian Company and the Dutch West Indian Company were the two largest corporations in history, or at the time. And they had private armies, and they had, um, they were the first publicly traded companies, and, and they traded people. They kidnapped people and they brought them elsewhere. A lot of their soldiers, a lot of their, uh, sorry, a lot of their sailors, pirates that they were employing, started committing suicide, jumping ship. Uh, not showing up for the for the for the next excursion. Right. Uh, doing their version of mass shootings back in Holland or England or wherever the case was, um, and telling the stories of of the horrors of what they had to do. And then a lot of really compassionate, good-hearted Europeans at the time wanted this to end. So there was a campaign against these two companies. So these companies shut their doors for a year, and they used this new invention called the printing press. And they, they took this Portuguese king's bullshit and they used the printing press to amplify it. Wow. Have scholars and, and uh, scientists and doctors at the time sign off on it as if it was, as if it was the prevailing wisdom at the time. Right. And so they used this, this new technology that the world had never seen and sent out all this information, all these myths that black was subhuman and they didn't mean skin at the time they meant black plague black magic black evil closer to satan africa's the the uh satan's last stronghold on the planet and these people are savage inhumane or uh, savage inhuman subhuman beasts who must be um, um taken out of this environment and given purpose somewhere else Right. Not here, Europe, though, because they're, they're too savage, but somewhere else. And we can also make some money off of that. God damn. And so the, the, the myth that was spread was to, to make shareholders in the company and their pirates in their employee feel better. And that sparked the industrialization of commerce, period. We have our printing press. We have a new printing press, social media, the internet. And yes, propaganda gets spread on that too. But every 500 years, every 400 years or so, we have, we have the ability with new technology to either shape the next centuries in truth, in inclusion, in kindness, or continue the propaganda, continue the lie. 
continue the oppression. And that's where we are. That's where the universe is. It's, it's giving us the opportunity to rectify, to repair the past 500 years.